Sorry, cup. Hello everyone, my name is Mackie and this is another episode of RC Money 5. In this episode, I got you a Supra. And this guys is a Toyota Supra. That's the label for it. These are the light buckets. This is the spoiler. These are the brackets for the spoiler. Stickers. Some stickers for if you want the windows and the glasses to be clear. You can put this from the inside and then paint from the inside. I got a set of rims and tires. Some RC flashing lights. Some um, butt hink or just hink. And this is a special one. I have bought uh, a pair of speakers. There's a built-in amplifier and I'm gonna need a source of music. I think I have something right here. So it will be perfect for the um, RC since it's small, not too big. Lastly is the color. This is kind of cheap. Um, cheaper than other colors, <laughs> I think. It's for engine. Uh, it's a heat proof. It's orange. Shavered orange and i'm just gonna use this so i'm gonna use this chassis right here from this godzilla the chassis is very very low i might have a problem with that i'm gonna cut all around it let's cut these off first so now cut all the around the car Okay, I'm about to drill the holes for it, just placing it in and look for the proper holes location. I'm gonna use the marker. I see body drill or drumel. As you can see that I mark it like that so that I know how big the hole is gonna be. I'm flipping the side so I can get the bows off. So as it turns out, the body is still too high. I need to trim those off. On the back, I need to cut this up like that so it looks uh, more like a racing car. And it's pretty much done. The body fitting. Now it's gonna be the wheel wheels. For those, I have to draw it out. pretty rough cut there. This is when the rotary tool comes into play. As you can see that there is a lot of dust. Okay, I got the body drill and positioned and everything. Now I'm gonna deal with the spoiler. There are holes, rotators on the spoiler. There are also hole locators for the spoilers on here. It looks pretty good. Since I'm gonna be using these hinks, the doors and the trunk and the hood can be opened. I have to keep this hole with the whole body, this front too. Um, let's start from the doors first. If I use this, it won't be perfect. So I should take my tom and use the knife. Maybe cut from the inside too. Seems to be working guys, so cut the outside and then cut the inside. So it's working so far, I cut the outside and cut the inside and I can just tear it off right now. I need to get it started by cutting it a little bit here. Okay, it's cut off. And before I remove that out, I'm gonna glue in the hink. That's how small it is. I've got my glue gun here. While waiting for that, I'm just gonna cut the other door. 
you can just cut the first pass lightly and second or third could be you know a little bit more force okay the glue gun is ready I should make the door open up look how it goes as you can see there's a big gap over there for that um, to work I'll just put it on this way I'll show you the result you guys will figure it out as you can see that I cut the opening for the hink a little bit there cut in and now that will be in there I want the door to be exactly like that as you can see that I glue a lot so that it sticks well and that's what we got. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Open up. Close the door. <laughs> okay, I can put the extra plastic that I cut off and make a star for that door right there. And there, I got that cut off. So I just cut on the outside and then cut in the inside. So I'm gonna bend it. With that in there, I'm just gonna horn it and glue it. And that's it guys. I got you door lock. Pretty impressive. Let's cut the other door. Okay, I'm gonna cut the room for the hink. Okay, I have it glue in. Now I'm gonna make a door lock for that one. Okay, it's off. There we go. And I'm gonna cut the windows off too, just so that I can fit some of these in. To avoid weak body, I'm just gonna cut just a little bit here. Another advantage of not peeling off the thin layer of plastic is that I can draw on it. When I peel it off, this marker will just come off. I'm gonna cut that brake light right there. Okay, I'm gonna make the locks over here. Close it. Cut the back for a little bit here. Put two of these in front. Yeah, 
man. It can be done. <laughs> Still strong. That's pretty cool. We got the uh, flight buckets. And now the front bumper. Okay guys, let's check out the speakers and see what I can do with it. There's a positive and negative wire in here. So I can just cut this off and put a new uh, plug in. Let's take this off. I hate to resolder them. I'm just gonna break this off. And here we go, pair of speakers. Put on here. Seems to be too long. I have this right here, connector. So white it's ground, go with black. Green is positive, go with red. Line them up like that. In order to do that, I have to have something under that. I will be dealing with the speakers later on. I ordered this online, just like in the link that I have been giving you guys. It is on eBay. It's called a 116 contour mesh. Let's cut off for the front. Spoiler. Body. I'm gonna paint these with uh, silver, with the body, the meshes and everything, matte black. And it's pretty much done guys. I got three coats on there. I'm ready to peel off the plastic. This is how it looks from the outside if you guys uh, paint from the inside. Okay guys, I let it uh, dry for a while now, so it's very nice and smooth and dry. I'm gonna add like um, metallic kind of color into it.
here is the body. I'm gonna paint the windows. So I need to cover all these up. So I'm gonna use tape first. I'm gonna assemble the spoiler. There it is. For the light buckets, they are painted uh, silver. And for the speakers and everything, I might have to do some soldering. Alright, I, I, I just cut it off. The speakers are gonna be uh, sitting next to each other like that. In case it's got pool or something like that. It's kind of too long, guys. Let's see, the length here should be the same. And there it is my pool proof protecting the soldering part. See it on the car. I'm gonna put the spoiler on. Whew. Here we go, guys. This is where we're at now. Next, I should put on the grooves. Let's start from the front first. Place this on there, put some glue on, and let it dry. First of all though, I'm gonna put the lights on this before I put it on the car. Okay, let's do that. Little plastic housing for the light. Got the whole drill. And there. I'm gonna put this right in there and the diagram should be in here okay for the back just gonna glue this in This uh, button right here, I'm gonna be gluing it on there. For the blue light, I'm gonna be gluing it on here. Bend it up a little bit. So that the light will point straight down to the floor. Now let's test the light. I'm gonna 
use this tape right here. One size foam, one size glue. Put it on the clear area. Okay, I'm just gonna clean up the work a little bit here. I got all kinds of wire wrappers here. So I'm gonna tape the wire right on the body here so that I will be pulling on the body instead of that unit right there. I added a lock over there too so that it's close all the way down. Unlock it, close all the way down and it's locked like that. And it's time for stickers. I'm just gonna randomly put the stickers on. If it's a small piece, I like to have it stick to the knife like that. Yeah. And lastly, the rooms. Alright guys, I forgot to figure out how to um, mount this on here. Okay. Right here. That is everything. I have been playing with it for a little bit there. I think uh, it will be a while until I make another RC Mari 5 video because it's taking a lot of time. A lot of you guys are suggesting a lot of cars coming in there. I have to make all kinds of cars. Let's take a look at them. That's the, this is the Godzilla Skyline. This is 110 and I'm gonna compare it to 18. Compare this to the Drift Star, the legend of this channel. So this is the Drift Star. This is the mass speed. It's got the same wheel base. It's got the same length and almost everything. You can pretty much um, put any 110 body on, just like the mass speed. And let's compare it to the Evil. It's got a different chassis, as you can see. Everything else is pretty much the same. This is the newer version, older version of mass speed. And I think this is really everything. I hope you enjoy it and find this helpful. Thank you and have a nice day. Sorry, cup.